Hi there everyone. This is Kelly Gettlefinger with Always Stampin' Videos. Um, thanks for joining me today. So I asked everyone on my blog if they wanted to see this video um, of the mini album in a bag. And the reason I asked is because it's really very simple to create and so I figured people might be able to figure out how to make it just by looking at the pictures on my blog, alwaysstampin.blogspot.com. So I got a lot of people saying they wanted to see it, so here it is. And um, it's just a really super cute way to give uh, pictures and journaling. It looks like a bag. But once you take the top off, it's actually a little mini album that just unfolds and unfolds. You can decorate the front and the back. And there's just lots of room for journaling and your photos. So let's get started and I'll show you how to make that. Alright, you're going to begin with a sheet of cardstock that measures 12 by 12. And you're going to use your 12 by 12, I'm sorry, your Simply Scored tool um, to put your score marks in to begin with. And you're going to score at 4 inches and 8 inches. So we'll start that out at 4 inches and 8 inches. Then you're going to quarter turn your cardstock and you're going to score it at 5 inches and 7 inches. So once again that's 5 inches and 7 inches. Now you're going to bring in your 12 by 12 trimmer and you're going to um, bring your cardstock in to the 5 inch mark that we just scored and trim or um, slice, I'm not sure what term to use here, slice through two panels. So only bring it up to this um, first scored panel. My blade is getting dull, so I need to put a new one in. Keeps getting caught. Okay, so you're only going to trim through those first two panels. Now you're going to 180 turn the cardstock so that you bring in the 7 inch scored area, and you're going to do the same thing and only slice through those first two panels. Okay, So what you end up with is the letter S or the number 2 <laughs> and basically that's all the trimming you're going to do. Now that you've got this part done, um, you will uh, we'll save the folding for later, but let me show you um, the pieces that you'll use to decorate. Now, I wanted to get the most out of my designer series paper, so I trimmed my pieces to three inches by four inches, and you're going to need twelve of these twelve pieces. that measure 3 inches by 4 inches. Now you uh, can make them bigger if you want to. Of course, let me show you again real quick. You can see that the panel is um, big enough that you can make it bigger. But the 3 inches by 4 inches just really helps you uh, make your designer series paper go far. So you're going to need 12 of those. And then you're just going to put them wherever you want them. on your mini album. So I'm not going to do all of these. I'm just kind of giving you an idea of where to put your pieces. Okay, and so then for this middle panel here, you're going to need five pieces that measure one inch by three inch. Okay. 
and so I have those here. Now on these I'm going to show you how, where to put each and every one of them. Let's see here. I want these. I want them like that. Yeah. Okay. So um, with these, I'm just going to add those there. And then um, I'm going to flip it over. Oh, I think I'm actually one short. Yes, I am. There we go. Okay. Oops. Hold on. That's not where I wanted that. There is, um, <laughs> there is a goal to this madness, if you'll just hang with me. Normally, I would let you just put those on yourself. Okay, um, now for this part, um, I'll put this one here. And then you're going to need one piece, just one piece, that measures one inch by nine inch. Okay, just one piece that measures one inch by nine inches. Whoops. And that piece is just going to go right here on this last panel. And I'm just going to add a little bit of adhesive there. And then I'm going to center this piece right over that panel so that it looks like that. Okay? Now, um, if you can imagine having all the pieces on, um, this is how, you know what, I'm just really quick going to add these because I think it would make the visual better and easier to understand. Let me just do that really quick. Hang tight with me. Of course, I would use a lot more adhesive than that. I'm going to make it. Okay. So now each one of these panels is going to fold in just like that on top of each other. And the other one on the bottom is going to do the same thing, fold in. And if you find that it's really bulking, I highly suggest that you just use your bone folder and really flatten those scored areas. And then the panel on the inside is going to accordion fold just like this, but you know what, I think it's going to have to go the other way. <laughs> it doesn't really matter which way the, pan, the top and bottom panel folds, but the accordion fold on the inside matters because you want this strap to come around. And I'm just going to use a little Velcro spot. And just put that on my strap. Bring it around. Okay, so then my album folds up. And the reason you want this strap here is because this one piece will flap open if you don't have the strap. So that's why you want that on there. Okay, so now it's ready for the topper. And let me show you how to make that. Bring back your Simply Scored tool. And you're going to have two pieces. One that measures four and one quarter inch by eleven inches, and one that measures two and a half inches by twelve inches. Okay, so there's our four and a quarter by eleven, and our two and a half by twelve. Now you're going to score the longest one. Okay, you're going to score it, and I'm going to write this because there's a lot. You're going to score it at 4 inches, 5 inches, 6 inches, and 10 inches. Okay? 
Ready? We're going to do that at 4 inches, 5 inches, 6 inches, and 10 inches. All right. Now the smaller piece, is going to get scored at one inch and two inches. Where is my small piece? <laughs> okay, so this in, this one's going to get scored at one inch and two inch. And that's with the short side of your cardstock to the top of your simply scored. One inch and two inch. All right. Now I would use sticky strip in this particular area of our project, but to save on time I'm going to use regular snail adhesive. So I'm just going to add some snail adhesive at this small tab here on the end, and also the larger tab on the opposite side. Now the larger tab is going to attach to the single tab on your on your um, topper. So we've got a fold there in the middle and then a tab here on the end. And we're just going to attach these two here. Just like that. Okay? And then we're going to attach the small tab to the opposite end. And that just lays flat and should match up pretty good. And you end up with this spongy looking box. All right. Now from here, um, I actually took my top note die and ran my piece through just partially through the top note die. Um, here's another sample. I ran this one through the oval accents die and again I only ran it through um, partially and then backed it back out. Um, you don't have to do that. You can just leave it as it is. I'm going to leave mine as it is and just do um, this. So uh, you can see this finished project on my blog. I'm going to take the crocodile and I am just eyeballing it. You can measure it out if you want to. You're going to punch two holes and that's going to be for your ribbon. And then from this point on, I'm just going to show you um, you just decorate that, put your ribbon through, and let's see what happened to my album. It fell down behind me somewhere. All right. So once you get that um, all put together, your album all put together and decorated, then your topper just goes on, just like a little bag topper. Now. The first couple of times that you put this on and off, it's going to be um, a little tight, but that will start um, opening up a little bit after you've taken it on and off and looked at your pictures and decorated and, <laughs> of course, I'm having problems on the video, and there it is. And so there you have it. Uh, this is another sample that's on my blog of the um, mini album in a bag. And there you have it. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you have a creative day.